Hello there boys and girls, my name is Repskillian and welcome to today's Upgaming Info Talking and today we're going to be talking about two topics, most likely the most prevalent one is going to be No Man's Sky. But before we get into that topic, I want to talk about my YouTube channel. I want to thank you guys again and the boys and girls that came to the channel for hitting my channel with 320 subscribers and also bringing my channel into the positive colors and the greens, in the greens, the greens with a subscriber count. We've been losing, well, I've been losing a lot of subscribers throughout the months because my content has been non-consistent or non-pleasing to the visual and audio eyes. Well, not entertaining to best put. And now that the channel's been slowly but surely creeping to the positive numbers, the likes have gone up, the comments have gone up, subscribers and newcomers, the, the active faces and the views, it's all back. And it's making me very, 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 very motivated for the channel. And because I think I found what my problem was I was trying to be something that I wasn't meant to be and that was a full-time let's player I don't think let's plays are my forte I do have a love for them but I think you guys haven't really gotten to know me as a person before you guys can watch my content but that's another video for another time but one of the all I wanted to say is thank you guys every single one of you for watching my videos again and liking and commenting it makes me so happy and subscribing yay but let's get into the main topic, the main juicy juice juicer of this video, and that is No Man's Sky's launch yesterday. It could be compared to that of a Titanic hitting the iceberg and sinking last night. The game was overhyped by some standards, and last night's PC launch really, really hit that fucking thing on the side, causing it to sink to the bottom of the ocean and bloop bloop like fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. But... To my opinion, uh, the launch last night was a bit rocky. I wasn't connected to the server for the most of the time. But this morning, it's been running perfectly. Um, there's a few glitch with the graphical issues and here and there, which have caused a lot of people, for instance, like Total Biscuit, to completely write the game off and say, this is ridiculous, it's another Arkham Knight uh, fiasco, and he won't be playing the game. A lot of people like Jim Sterling are giving a negative reviews. And I think it's their opinion, and I'm not here to argue with their opinion, I'm here to bring you my opinion and my first impressions of the game at this point. And honestly, I have to say it's rather positive. Putting aside the graphical issues that have been plaguing the game since launch, um, no. The game is brilliant, the game is an amazing fucking game, and it's worth every moment of your time. My opinion is... People need to stop looking at it in a smaller view, but in the larger scale. I think people like, uh, what's his name, Markiplier, really, really can see that also. Uh, how amazing this game is in the grander sense. If you love space travel, this game is for you. If you love exploration, this game is for you. I have to say, the introduction into the game itself, it was a bit non so spectacular in the point of... I didn't get the goosebump feeling until I really left the planet, my first planet, and oh my god, wow, just wow, that just at the, just at the scale of the planet, just seeing it on a PC screen really nullifies the size of the planet and makes it feel trivial, but if you keep in mind that this is an actual Earth-sized planet, or even larger, your brain starts to go, but what, 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 what? And it just blows your mind in the larger sense. And I think that's a lot of th that's a bigger problem with most people. They the game just becomes non spectacular because they f they they don't keep that in their mind. They just see it on the PC screen and they're like, oh, well, it's just another planet, and they get bored by it. But they don't really think about the size and scale of the universe and everything around them. They don't keep that in their heart. And if you do that while we'll playing this game, you're going to have a fucking amazing time. Because that just blows your mind. The scale, the... This is just... <laughs> uh, I like making walking across the map videos. I won't be making a video in this game because my PC will tell me to fuck off. Because, holy shit. I think it's impossible for me to do it in this game. But, going off topic here, going on a tangent. What I wanted to say is, I think the game is an absolute gem. In the rough, needs to be cleansed a little bit, sharpened here and there, and this game will be an amazing game. I think after this rocket launch and a few coming months with the patches coming out for the PC and the PlayStation 4, 
this game is going to become more and more and more amazing. More content's about bound to come. I mean, yes, Sean Murray had needed to have a better communication line with the community. I mean, it was a lot of vagueness in his from his side, but that is to be expected from an indie developer getting so much exposure and not having dealt with this large amount of hype around their project and it's it's to be expected but i give him a, i give him a pass on this and the guy just before like two days before launch implemented the fov slider to the game for the pc and i think they need to really improve that because i still feel like my character is way too close to everything my face is too close to everything i want to go back stick a Take a step back. I just feel like everything's too close. And, and then and the flame mechanics need to, still need to be tweaked and give us some freedom because I still feel like this is a fucking straight up port from the PlayStation 4 to the PC. Graphically, a lot of people are saying it's not a difference, but if you play in a 4K monitor, that's another fucking story. I feel like this is a, it's a very pretty game, but for me, the most biggest fucking problem is the flying mechanics, and that's the main point of the game it's not space flight space flight is absolutely not a problem i just think that the ground flight is restrictive because it automatically f tries to balance you when you're on the ground when you're close to the ground so you can't really do those f sweeping flying techniques that you want to do and you can't really look at the ground otherwise it just try pulls your nose right back up maybe it's a setting that i haven't seen yet that i'll probably look into um, oh yeah, guys, if you are looking to solve some of your frame rate issues, uh, a local Redditor found out that if you turn up your frame rate higher than 60, well, there's a 60 and a 30 frame max lock there. If you turn it up, your frame rate won't be an issue anymore. But there's some uh, hanging here and there, but maybe you should turn off your V-Sync and that will probably fix that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this video here because I think that's all that needs to be said at this point in time. Uh, I will be making an hour-long video of me playing the game, exploring the planet, trying to find another, another creator's or another player's content. So, yeah. If you guys find my world, or one of my worlds, or my universes, or my galaxies, whatever system, or whatever you call it, please tell me in the comment section below. That would be awesome. And if you guys wanted to join me in the No Man's Sky game, well, try to find me. Find me or not, you can't find me. I'm hiding everywhere. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Ram Skillion. I love your faces with a bit of pie, and I'll take you. I'll take your face with a bit of pie. <laughs> what? Take care, guys. Love you. Bye bye. Eh. Terrible outros recently.